for the Congress. This seat has been a bastion. It's held a seat for years. And this time around, it's fielded Isha Khan Chaudhary, who belongs to the same family that has held this seat. Goni Khan Chaudhary is a legend in these parts of the country. But taking forward his legacy is Isha Khan Chaudhary. Sir, thank you so much for giving NDTV this time. In the middle of the campaign, 40 degrees heat, but you are you have a crowd around you. How are you managing the campaign given that the Congress in Bengal has had severe challenges, organizational challenges as well? You see, the big hit we took was in 2021 when we didn't get a single seat. We lost all our seats in West Bengal, Malla. But the main reason for that, the reason was the NRC CAA panic, fear that was generated by the two ruling parties. Why I mean two ruling parties? BJP to K had come to where Malla itself and ministers had come and said we'll stop people's eating of meat, we'll uh, put NRC, CA in West Bengal also. And the Trinamool used that to its advantage. The Trinamool is also instead of trying to calm people, which we were doing, the Trinamool started scaring people that the only way to stop the BJP is to vote for Trinamool, to vote for one party. So it became a panic, it became a polarized election. That's why we were uh, thrown out of the ele electoral process, you could say. But this whole, uh, after three years, people have learned, people have smartened up. They have learned that this was used to scare them, to make them panic and to make uh, force them to vote for Trinamool. But this time around, people are themselves are telling me, we don't believe in NRCCA. This is a tactic being used by the ruling parties to manipulate our vote. And, I, you know, I, it's a concern you raise, but this is a concern that's come back perhaps right ahead of the election with the CAA notification. It's well possible that the same thing could repeat itself. Yes, but this time the public itself, like I was also worrying about that in the beginning, but this time the public says every time there's an election, Panchar election, uh, that they're just uh, last year, again the, uh, the chief minister, the Trinul brought it up, so people are becoming wary, it's like crying wolf, how many times can you cry wolf? People smarten up, people realize, that, they, and they also realize this is a national election. Uh, Mamta Banerjee has left the alliance, the India alliance, so people are asking why has she left, for what reason has she left? So people have smartened up and they've understood that this election is Rahul Gandhi versus Modi. A single chief minister of a single state is not a factor here. They've understood that. And they're asking why she left the alliance. What is she scared of? If, she's, if the chief minister is scared of being in the alliance, then how is she going to fight BJP on her own? She might, what is the problem? This, people have a, it's a fair question. Now, sir, you belong to a legacy, a political family that's, you know, spanned generations in Malda. You're perhaps the third generation, uh, but the family's uh, stature remains, of course, even within the Trinamool cadres, they still believe that Ghonikan Chaudhary is someone who is a tall leader from the region. But they say that that legacy, somewhere down the line, hasn't been ably carried forward and they are also staking claim to the legacy. How would you say that, you know, that perhaps, you know, this is a fight for legacy as well. Yes, but you see the legacy, to keep the legacy, one thing is to use his name, Ghani Khan Chaudhary. That's true. In Malla, when Ghani Khan Chaudhary's birthday is celebrated, my uncle's birthday is celebrated, all parties celebrate separately. That's very true because he's a national figure. But of course, he's a congressman. And it's not just about Congress. You have to walk the walk. You can't just talk the talk. Using Ghani Khan Chaudhary's name is something all parties do. But we feel that we are the... We, 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 not just because we are relatives of Ghani Khan, I am a relative, it's not that. It's that we've stayed true to his principles, to Congress principles, which are, is to work for the poor, which is to help the poor, which is to stand not to look for our own interests. I'll give you a very just short example. My father, uh, my family got the University Ghani Khan Chaudhary Institute of Engineering Technology to Narayanpur, the 700 crore project in, which was opened up by the UPA, which is developing as we speak. The issue is my father donated the full land money because the central government would not give the land. So he donated money for 300 uh, vigas, which is more than 100, 150 acres of land he donated. So what I'm trying to say, it's one thing to talk the talk and walk the walk. My, our family still walks the walk. 
We don't do things for our self-interest. We're here to serve the people. We're here to give to the people, not to take from the people, which is what is happening today in today's national and state politics. So very quickly, a couple of questions. The Prime Minister held a rally, massive crowds. Are you worried that uh, perhaps the Congress, the more space the Congress loses in the state, the more space the BJP gain, gains? Because in a sense, we've seen the Trinamool vote share kind of remain where it is. It's the loss in the left and Congress vote share that has resulted in the gain of the BJP vote share. Well, in places like Malla, Murshidabad, yes. Uh, I think the BJP vote share in Malla has peaked. I don't think it will go much higher. I think rather in South Malla, where I'm standing, it will decline somewhat. Somewhat decline, I'm predicting. And, and we see a fight, of course, with the BJP in the end, not with the Trinamool. Uh, but we're very confident we'll get through because this time, like I said, it's a mass movement. The public has realized what is going on, that their votes are being abused, used, and they want real development, they want real service. Unfortunately, in the state, nothing is done without money. And at the central, central level, things are being done uh, to, with a divide and rule policy of the Modi government. And at the state level, everything, all the scams have started, the teacher scam, everything is done from money. Public has realized that. So now, uh, one more question that I have is, your opponents say that you're a gentleman, you're, you know, soft-spoken, yeah. that, but they also add that perhaps uh, that you don't uh, carry the aggressive or, you know, certain characteristics that we've learned to associate with politics in India. Well, How would you respond are, are to that? talking about gundas in the villages? Are they talking about the, the gundas that sometimes the ruling parties use? Of course, we're not a party like that. Well, Ghani Khan Chaudhary also is a gentleman in party. And secondly, I have experience of 13 years. Don't forget that I've had some of the hardest constituencies. I was an MLA for five years at Boy Shramagar, which is a very difficult area, which has a, bo it's a border area, has Ganga, Bhangone problems. I've dealt with all these problems. These people who say these things haven't even dealt with these things. They, my opponent candidate, I believe, has come from London. He has never seen, never dealt with these things. I've dealt with riots, I've dealt with Ganga Bangon, I've dealt with uh, people's poverty. Then another five years in Sujapur, then another three years out of power, I still come and uh, has remained with the people of Malla. I've never left the people of Malla. So my experience counts, my uh, aggression, you call it, my gen, whatever you call it, I'm there with the people, I'm there beside the people, supporting the people. Thank you so much for speaking to NDTV.